What's up, everyone? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com, your home of the 2020 World Series champion Los Angeles Dodgers. My name is Jeff Spiegel, and we've got another nugget from Ken Rosenthal as it relates to the Dodgers today. Uh, Rosenthal wrote in his article on The Athletic that the Dodgers were, in fact, interested in DJ LeMahieu, as many had reported. They did make an offer, according to some people. But he basically said, all signs now point to a reunion with Justin Turner, as many people expect. However, the team has started to compile a list of alternatives, quote, including free agent Marcus, Marcus Semien. Semien, age 30, would play third base or multiple positions. Again, this is from Rosenthal. For the Dodgers, rather than displace Corey Seager at shortstop, though, if, sign, if he signed a multi-year deal, he might be an option to return to short in 2022 if Seager departed as a free agent. So Marcus Simeon infielder from the Oakland Athletics, uh, had a fantastic 2019, which was an outlier among all of his career years, is a guy that the Dodgers have have at least put on a list of alternatives should Justin Turner not come through. So let's talk a little bit about Marcus Simeon, and I'll start off with the headline. This is not a name that gets me overly excited. This is a guy that I know personally I looked at and I play fantasy baseball. I looked at him, wow, big 2019, incredibly disappointing in 2020. And when you look at his numbers, it makes sense. When it comes to weighted runs created, Marcus Simeon has had one year since 2013 when he came up. One season where he was an above average offensive player, a weighted runs created over 100. That was in 2019 where his number was 137. So elite, elite, elite 2019. From 2015 to 2018, he was hovering right around average, 97, 98, 97, 96. 2020 was a step backwards to 91. Uh, he had 35 home runs in 2019. He has 80 in the other seven years of his career combined. And so that's the question with Simeon is what exactly are you getting? Even if you look at his stat cast numbers, again, exit velocity in 2019 was 88.9. That's about two miles an hour higher than any other year on his uh, in his career. Barrels, eight and a half percent of the time he was barreling. Uh, last year was five. 2018 was four and a half. If you look at his exit velocity, 12th percentile last year, hard hit percentage, 9th percentile expected weighted on base percentage, 10th percentile expected slugging, 13th percentile, barrel percentage, 27th percentile. So this is a guy that aside from a strikeout percentage that's average, a walk percentage that's slightly above average, and a sprint speed that's above average, I mean, everything about him screams not good. Now, the flip side is, do the Dodgers see something in 2019, Marcus Simeon, that they think they can replicate? Because if there is, then maybe they feel like they can get a bargain. I can't imagine his market is exploding. Um, and the flip side is he plays good defense. So this would be a utility infielder type. I mean, it would basically be maybe a massively upgraded version of Kike Hernandez, a guy who could play second, a guy who could play third, a guy who could play short and play really good defense there. Uh, but the cost is going to be high. I mean, I can't imagine he's going to get anywhere near what a Kike Hernandez type would. And so for me, Simeon's not a guy that interests me. Unless, now if the Dodgers go out and get him, I'm hoping that they see something in 2019, Marcus Simeon, that they think they can replicate. So again, according to Rosenthal, signs pointing towards the Dodgers and, and Justin Turner having a reunion. Simeon is simply on the list of alternatives. But as we've talked about alternatives on this show, Chris Bryant, Eugenio Suarez, Nolan Arenado, obviously, those are all names that get me far, 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 far more excited than Marcus Simeon. So let us know what you think below. Marcus Simeon is a backup to the just to, to Justin Turner and the Dodgers' pursuit of a third baseman. What do you think? One note tonight. It's Monday night, 8 p.m. Dodger Heads Live. We are going live, and we've got two giveaways for you today. We're giving away a DVD and a hat. More details to come, but please join us 8 p.m. tonight right here on Dodger Blue 1958 on YouTube. Make sure you ring the notification bell so you know when we go live. My name is Jeff Spiegel. I appreciate you joining us. And as always, we'll leave you with Vin. The best team holding a trophy high in the air. The Los Angeles Dodgers, champions of the baseball world.